Eminence in Shadow has the potential to be the next big thing in Isekai anime. And this is because of its unhinged Shunobi of protagonists that created an intriguing plot from his imagination. So will Eminence in Shadow join the likes of Tensura, Overlord, Mushika Tensei, and ReZero as one of the Isekai goats? Well, let's define it. Hello, I'm your friend of fellow Mav. Eminence in Shadow could be the next big thing in Isekai. But it's hindered by a major problem. Basically, Eminence in Shadow follows the story of Kageno, who dreams of being strong enough to withstand a nuclear blast, which is a smart move considering the recent events. He does this by training in every martial art so he can grow strong and join a mysterious organization called Eminence in Shadow that he made up. In fact, the whole plot of Eminence in Shadow happened because of the protagonist's major case of Chunibyo often translated as the 8th grader syndrome or what I like to call as my embarrassing high school memories. Or think of those people doing the Naruto run. The first episode of Eminence in Shadow is about Kagino saving his classmate from a kidnapping while giving a TED talk on how effective crowbars are at killing people. But don't worry about it too much because the next episode throws this plot away for being too boring. Episode 2 is where the actual Isika adventure begins as Kagino gets reborn into a fantasy world after getting run over by Chakun because he wasn't chat enough. So Kagino retains his memories and is driven with the same goal, joining his made-up organization, but this time with the power of magic. I feel like this anime is teaching us a bad lesson, that no matter how much we strive in real life, we will never achieve our dreams. And the only solution is for a miraculous truck to drive our soul into a fantasy world. Anyway, Kagino defeated what he did in his real world train and beat up hooligans to fund his secret organization, and then he stumbled upon the ugliest abomination. And if Disney taught us anything is that kissing it will turn it beautiful. But since this is an anime, Kagero decided to experiment on it until it became a waifu, which puts Elon Musk to shame who promised us cat girls but instead is having a midlife crisis over on Twitter. So Kagero managed to lift the curse that fell on this beautiful elf. And the first thing that he did was lie. Girls, don't ever trust anything a boy says to you on your first date. So Kagino, because of his Chunibyo, made a story up on how the elf is a blood descendant of a legendary hero and that she was cursed by the cult of Diablos who sets out to revive the demon lord by using royal blood. Kagino then names her Alpa and recruits her into his mysterious organization he now calls Shadow Garden. After three years, Shadow Garden grew larger recruiting more members named after the Greek alphabet in the hopes of defeating the Cult of Diablos, which ended up becoming a real thing. So yeah, Kagino's made-up Chunibyo story is actually the real deal. And this is the reason why Eminence and Shadow has the potential to be the next big thing in Isekai. Not because of its generic plot, but because of its dark humor. But this anime is massively hindered by its obnoxious pacing. I mean, summarizing the premise alone took me five rewrites just to make it a two-page summary that makes sense. Eminence and Shadow has the potential to be the next big thing in Isekai anime if it didn't take itself too seriously. Most of its golden moments were because of Kagano's antics as he pretends to be a weak character in school using his own martial arts called Mavfu which has techniques on how to make yourself look like a beta male. Kagino of Eminence and Shadow is like Alonso Quijano of Don Quixote. Both of them pretend to be these amazing characters based on their fantasies. One is an honorable knight, while the other one is a massive edgelord. But I have to admit that Kagino actually looks cool with that Venom-like power. There are tons of humorous moments in Eminence and Shadow, and what sells it is how this illusion Kagino is at becoming this mob character by day, and a legendary dark hero by night. I mean, he even made every effort to save up money and spend it on useless junk just to decorate his tiny room. Like a typical anime fan surviving on instant ramen just to buy another figure. He often speaks in English to sound like the coolest character but ends up being funny that I have to give props to Kageno Seiyu Yamashita Seichiro by throwing in these English lines that both made me laugh and tingled my ears for its asmir quality. Like, I want him to say, please like this video and subscribe to Otaku Defined. I bet this will kick this channel up and running. If this anime just focused more on Kagino's stupid antics, it would have been so much better. Because every time Eminence and Shadow moves away from Kagino and start taking itself too seriously, it loses its charm for having the most generic plot in all fantasy anime. Now, the animation for its fight has great quality. 
and all members of Shadow Garden have wonderful designs, but it doesn't take away the fact that it felt like I have seen this 100 times already. Sure, the serious plot is the setup for the joke while Kagino's Chunibyo is the punchline, but it could have been done better. So yeah, the strength of Eminence in Shadow is with its interesting protagonist. And the more it loosens itself up and does not take itself too seriously, is the moment where Eminence in Shadow will be the next big thing in Isekai anime. But not as big as Konosuba. So how about you guys? Will you be watching Eminence in Shadow? Leave it here down in the comments and tell me if you find Kagino cool or not. Subscribe to Otaka Define for more anime content, so hit that button with the same amount of love as Kagino does for money. Laters!